Hey everybody, it's Emerald, and today I'm going to be showing you how you play Fortnite on your Chromebook. There are a few requirements to this. Um, make sure that you've already disabled securely and watched that video. And if you're trying this from school, make sure that you have the VPN on from that the v previous video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up three different web pages. Chromes equals slash slash net internals slash HTSTS. The normal Chrome settings where you have certificates at and play.geforcenow.com. Now, let's get into it. So, because um, play.geforcenow.com runs on the same certificates as securely, it won't work. And usually you can press down here and go like this, but for most of you, probably all of you, unless you've already done this, it won't let you proceed. This is because it's HTS or it's HSTS, sorry. And so the only way to get rid of this and be able to proceed unsafely is to copy this, go to delete domain security policies, and paste that into there, and press delete on this page, the net internals. Now you're gonna to wanna to reload the page. I don't need to, but you know, for the sake of showing you guys how to, reload the page and press proceed to play.geforcenow.com. You're going to hit agree and continue. And then I'll try and like give you like um, a little tutorial thing. You just need to press got it, got it. Um, hit login. Actually, before you hit login, this is the excruciating part. You have to trust the certificates. All of them. And this works and securely does come back online, but the way securely works, it only blocks web pages, not that you're already loaded onto, but you're loading into. So because we already have this page loaded, you don't need to. So you trust all of those and hit login. It'll bring you to here, press NVIDIA. It'll say sign in with NVIDIA. I already have an account. You guys are going to have to create an account to continue. But after you create your account, it's going to direct you, redirect you back to the GeForce Now, which is blocked by the um, uh, securely. So you have to untrust these again. Told you guys it was excruciating. And then once you get all of these untrusted again, then you have to hit continue with your account, whatever it is. And then it'll say you are logged in and you exit that tab out or you can keep it. I don't know why you would want to collect it. And now though that you have the, um, these back on, this won't load. So you have to turn them back off again. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but you will be able to play Fortnite. And once you get those back on line again, you come back here and you wanna say type in Fortnite. If it doesn't come up with it automatically, there's a few other things you can try. You can try going into settings. It's not really working, this happens sometimes. And honestly, I think the best way, if it does this to you, to HSTS. So you have to take this, delete it again, and then reload this page. Advanced, proceed. So it'll come up, it'll be loading. And because it just finished loading, it's because you still have the certificates on, it's not, it's gonna say there was a problem. So you're gonna have to go into here, edit, trust, and retrust all of these. And um, yeah, um, one of the reasons this is such a hard tutorial to teach is because there's no straightforward way to do it. There's like a lot of like luck oh, and trying to get through. So then you'll be in play.geforcenow.com and it will show you like my library. But if you try to play this right now, it'll say there's a problem. 
see and so what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to hit the menu up here go into settings yeah and so usually it would say three different like ubisoft epic games and another one and in order to actually play fortnite you have to um connect your i think you have to do it on a separate device because it took me a separate device because epic games was completely blocked but you're going to have to go to GeForce Now on a separate device and link your Epic Games to your NVIDIA account. And then you're going to have to come back on here and get this page back up. See? So sometimes I don't know why it doesn't do this. So you're going to have to try a few times until it shows your connected accounts. So you're going to have to go back here, untrust them again. It's honestly really annoying. But yeah, and one of the things is once you get this page up, don't close it. You can close your Chromebook, of course, but you don't want to close the actual page, like exit it out, because then you have to redo all the work of getting the page back up again, which is one of the harder parts. Because it's untrusted, it doesn't. Ah, uh, that's why. And so this is the second time now that I've had to do this. And so honestly, as you're load going through all the like different things that you have to do to get it to load, it's kind of nice to have to. Uh, it's kind of nice to delete it as you go through, so you don't get stuck halfway through. It's really annoying. Now you'll be in here again, but your certificates are going to be off. Now it likes to do this thing. Where it doesn't load the first time. Sometimes you have to reload it and go back through again. There we go. Yeah. So like you have to reload it after you first load it in. Then it's going to be loading. And you'll want to go here. Edit. Trust. Trust all these. And because this is a second time now that we're going through it. Um, we're also going to want to delete its properties from the net internals tab just so we don't get stuck again and i forgot we still have the space in the front it's kind of annoying but um yeah and i'll go here settings um ubisoft and steam i don't know why it's not coming up with my epic games account but it's connected so once you get your epic games account connected on a separate device any device will work as long as you can access this web page um, yeah, you should be able to hit, oh, there's a problem connecting. Um, we're going to, in order to reload the web page to be able to do that, we have to untrust all of these. And that's why I also said it was partially luck. And that's also why I said it's best to do this at home as well, because, um, yeah, it's going to be really, really annoying. So now we have to go here really quick. I think the quicker that you go and you trust these, the better it is. And the less time it takes to load the actual GeForce now. Because it won't load in until you um, trust all of its certificates. See? And yeah, sometimes you just have to um, completely go through it again until it works. And now that it says one of three accounts connected, that's how you know you're all clear to play. So you'll say connecting again. Okay. Now, this is another thing that's really annoying is that you have to wait in queue, at least for the free version. You have to wait in queue. But there's also a paid version. And if you want to go through really fast, you can pay for it. Um, you get ray tracing, which is pretty good. And another thing is you get a one hour session before you have to load back in and wait in the queue again, and get back in. So you also get six hour sessions if you sign up for it and less than 30 seconds of waiting time always. So it's a pretty good deal. I think it's $10 a month. Yeah. So it's... For one month, it's $10, but you get $10 off if you get six months. And then there's also this, which you get eight-hour section sessions, and it's $100 per six months. So I don't know. 
it really just depends on which one you want to get. And once you wait through the queue, it will load up. And another really cool thing that you can do, you can connect your um, using your Xbox controller or PS4 controller. Um, you can hook them up to your Chromebook through Bluetooth, or I'm not sure about the um, PS4 controllers because I'm not the biggest PS4 player. But I know for Xbox controllers, if you have a USB outlet on your Chromebook, you can just plug it into your controller and play through there. And that's pretty much it. Um, make sure if you like this video to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.